Welcome back, everyone, to another reaction to Halo Episode 6. Uh, before we get going, I'd like to just remind everybody, if you are interested in full-length reactions to this or any other show that we've done, check out the links to Patreon down in the description below. I'm Nicholas, joined today by Mike. What's up, man? Hey. Hey. Halo. Halo. <laughs> nice. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, good show so far. Ended with a nice uh, action scene. Presumably that's why our video got a shitload of views last time. <laughs> but all the other ones... Because I was there. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. It's true. It's true. Because I came in. Yeah. came in. Well, uh, unless you got anything to say, I think we should just jump right into it. Talk afterward, I guess. Sweet ride. Sweet ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's just get into Halo. It's uh, The plot is thickening. Uh, Master Chief is doing his thing he's going rogue I don't know who the fuck knows what's happening Halsey is a crazy mad scientist and doesn't give a shit about her daughter and <laughs> craziness uh yeah let's do it uh, I got my hand on the play ready to go in three two one play oh that's right she uh they're planning her again Take that thing through a car wash, man. It's got grunt guts on the side of it. He's used to that. Yeah. They saved all of us. Remembering when he was fucking kidnapped. Wow. Leave me alone. I can't do that. It's my job to protect you. You need medical attention. Now we have her. The spy. She told Miranda that the Covenant had kidnapped her as a child and kept a prisoner ever since. Sounds familiar. <laughs> yep, right. We need to get you well, Chief. How's he gonna deal with this? I mean, he tried to knock her brains out <laughs> in the last episode, so. It's like the non-satirical version of Starship Troopers. Right. <laughs> Except the Covenant just seems to come out of nowhere and just attack. Right, they have their high without, technology, yeah. We don't know their purpose. Except trying to grab all this old right. tech, which is the same thing that humans are doing. Exactly. They got two species with the same goals, and their, their, co their conflict is with each other is that they have the same goals. Damn, Chief, what are you doing, son? Thought you knew everything. Master Chief. Damn. You're tired and overloaded. He's just wanting to interrogate her, but Cortana should be able to override air all this. Sure you can. You're my fail safe. That's not true. Hells has been lying to me my entire life. Damn. I was getting to the truth, so she implanted you to keep me in line. So do it. All I can do is overload your neural pathways and create a temporary state of stasis. I can't control you. Open the door. You do it. I can't. I don't believe you. She only has a few seconds, John, please. You really had to test to see how far Cortana can go. Damn. I just needed to know your AI's limits. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. To save you from what's next. You designed all of this, Halsey. <laughs> Him, her, everything. What do you think about that? I, I, I think some Halo, uh, other Halo fi fans might complain about that scene, saying it's it's out of his character to do that. But that's the whole point of this series: is to explore things that mm -hmm. weren't done in the games or books. Is one one seven the right man for the job? Is the French guy a voice actor for the Elder Scrolls games? I swear, it's, it sounds super familiar. Don't really find it a little peculiar that she will only speak to a Spartan. How would she know about him, really? Yeah. You know? You're the demon. Ah, oh yeah, that's right. And that's what the Sanghili call you. In the star system, you call us Pharaoh. Can you show me? 
How do you know that? The governor you call me Hirajo, the Blessed One. He's heard that before by the guy. She knew they would do this, so there's something very specific to telling them that information. I understand you're a busy woman, so we'll move right along. We purposely kept Jag out of the Spartan 2 program. Interesting way to watch from the mirror glass. Well, as you said. Okay, let's move on to the origins of the Katana system. <laughs> Speaking of. Shit. Does he know that they're observing now? Like. Don't do that. We had. I was planning the future. Maybe just skip to the part where you kidnap us. Let's get it all out. <laughs> I needed children. And that thing you replaced me with. Genetically compromised flash clones. Oh, wow. Once they were in the homes, they started to experience. And then, after wow. a short period of time, they would pass away. They put in clones to replace that the parents wouldn't know. The Holy shit. Undiagnosed seizure disorder. Tearing Talk about covering up your tracks. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's that's like next level shit right there. You don't just steal the kids, but you replace them. Trick here, but fuck it. Encouraging you to tap into your memories, that I risked bringing all of this to light. John, you have something inside of you, some atavistic connection to this thing that we're calling the Halo. Let's finish what we started. She's like, <laughs> I'll finish. That was a kind of a cool way to do that interrogation scene, but I'm not designed to make that choice. Right. I'll make it easy for you. First chance I get, I'm cutting you out. That's not a gamble I would take. I'm not interested in your advice anymore. It will likely kill you. <laughs> you admitted everything to the Master Chief. Everything except your involvement. <laughs> Margaret, we are so close. Don't do this. Goodbye, Dr. Halsey. They have very well protected shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, she's scarred up. So you really do that to you? Identification. Master Chief Petty Officer John 117. Status critical. Report to medical immediately. I would imagine she's not stupid, uh, uh, Mackie and offered them something that would make them believe her. So saying that system, there might be something there for them to find, uh, so they will, you know. And Cortana, she's black boxed. There's no way to reach her. What's the discharge rate of an anti c battery cell? 20%. Oh, a Spartan laser. So maximum five shots. Those things are fun in the games. <laughs> She seems a lot more ethical than her mother, so I don't know if she'll be able to uphold what the Spartans are meant to do. Mm -hmm. She's gonna find a clone of herself or something. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Access denied. Oh, the access to the cloning lab was not transferred. Huh. Drama queen. But I should have done a better job of explaining myself to you particularly when you're old enough to understand it was never my intention to hurt you <laughs> wow get her retinal scan or something yeah she's fucking devious man these system proteins are unique to you or at least they were until we tested McKee's DNA I'm not saying that this is the source huh. of your connection to the artifact. But that gene alignment is remarkably similar. It's killing you. The keystone. You are desperate to know its secrets. And each time, you became sicker. How do you know that? I told you. We are the same. But then, the prophets taught me to stop fighting. Suddenly, all of the pain went away. Keystones became my servants. Take me to the Keystone. You will find peace. 
Mm-mm. <laughs> you said it yourself. We're the same, right? Two in a billion, you said. What if she's setting you up? What if she wants you to touch it because she knows you'll be killing off the Covenant's most powerful enemy? I need yep. to know. got her little laser fingernails. I need to see what's happening right now. I can link you in. Yes, please. Oh, uh, this is going to end on some crazy getting ready to die melt mind meld climax. They're not treating her like a Something prisoner. No. <laughs> can feel it. Oh, interesting. They are, they are literally connected. Jeez. Please let me show him. No, no, no. I need to see this. Oh. He's not getting anything new out of it. He's just seeing what's already been told to him. Oh, is he? This is mine. Consciousness on the ring? Is he gonna see the ring? This looks like it would be the ring. Cortana, overlay them. Yeah, it's the same. Oh shit, there it is. Let's make blessed babies. <laughs> Crazy. It's the theme. Thought we lost you there, Chief. Where'd you go? Hello. Wow. Well, they literally are connected in some crazy way for sure. Uh, and both the UNSC and the Covenant, right? And that scene got closer to each of their same goal. <laughs> right. Doesn't the first game or second game start the campaign on, on the Halo ring? Yeah, like in the opening scenes, it's just immediately, it's like there's this thing, yeah, and you're on it. Uh, so yeah, this is a completely different way of approaching the that information, but I'm digging it. I've read a few comments that people don't like this or whatever, but... You know, everybody's going to have their opinion. Uh, I'm digging this as a show a lot, actually. Uh, the, the character development's actually there. And if anything, it's the one thing Master Chief does not have in the, sh in the, in the games. Is sure. There's very right. little character arc at all. He's just, sure. all right, let's go do that, you know. Right. And, and a couple throw off uh, comedic lines. Like the, the chemistry between the two, uh, between Cortana and uh, Master Chief is much lighter uh in the games uh, of course they're not mm. going over all this background before right. they get to there you know so uh, right they've learned to deal with each other uh by that time but yeah i'm liking this uh i'm really liking this show actually uh, it's it's fun um what do you think so far i think they're will what is there two episodes left or or are we on six i think there's nine so we got uh, three episodes left i'm sure there will be a lot more like of the action people are looking for in the last few episodes or, sure. or something like that um yeah it's just trying to set up the mystery around all all this stuff and what what just happened to them but yeah we sort of already found out the so we found out we resolved the mystery with Halsey and his childhood. Right. And now we have this new the, mystery. The big, bigger, yeah, artifact. It's probably leading to uh, a fight on the Halo ring, I, I'm guessing. Yeah, the UNSC and See. the Covenant. It's, it's a race to find it for each of them, mm -hmm. right? Now mm -hmm. that uh, they apparently need 
and there's something about you know the the two artifacts need to be joined maybe that will be like how they can find it like whoever gets a hold of both artifacts will be able to use right. their blessed one when they're connected to touch it to find out exactly where halo is mm -hmm. so they're both we don't know what yeah made them blessed ones yet no no the, you know there's something in their genetics apparently but we don't know right what made that so uh, uh, predestined yeah. by the maybe. Old civilization maybe over there. Yeah, it'd be less it'd be a like the way genetics works it'd be if it's a random uh, combination it'd be way less than two in a billion one in a billion uh, one and a half a billion it'd be like one in a quadrillion or something like as many combinations as there are uh, so so yeah well and both blessed ones are human so it has something to do with hum humans specifically she grew up was kidnapped grew up in, uh, with the covenant but that was because they had some kind of piece of technology that apparently like scanned her and maybe found that genetic alteration or whatever and realized that they would be able to uh interact with the stones or whatever um, no explanation how the covenant got that far and to begin with like how would they how mm -hmm. do they know to look for someone like her when they did back in the day you know or you know maybe the covenant has been pursuing this for a lot longer than the unsc and the unsc is right. doing a little catch-up game right now after mm -hmm. f finding one of the artifacts that the covenant so maybe the ancient race created humans or created both humans and and other other races in the covenant or something right well you know i i don't know where the show will go but in the uh, you know spoilers if you haven't played the games anybody uh the, the games introduce a i guess there's four total species you've got the humans of covenant that are both at war with each other but they're looking for the same thing the halo ring and once the Halo Ring, they're there and it's revealed uh, through a bunch of campaign levels, you realize that it's a weapon. Uh, and so Master Chief has to do his own thing to where he's like, you know, he wants to prevent anybody from getting a hold of it ultimately because he realizes it's a weapon. But what is uh, made by uh, the third species, these what they call the forerunners, you know, some dead, long gone species that made this high technology long ago. But what, why did they make this weapon? Uh, both the Covenant and the humans presume it's a weapon to be wielded, but Master Chief and Cortana find out that uh, there's actually yet a fourth uh, species, you know, alien thing out there called the Flood. And the Flood mm -hmm. are like zombies. They consume life. Uh, mm -hmm. And so that they realize the Halo Ring was made to... Uh, wipe out uh, the flood feed off of other living creatures and so the halo rings the forerunners created the halo rings to uh, wipe out all life so therefore the flood would die because it couldn't feed off life kind of fucked up right. I don't know really know the motivations there but that, that's the way it's set up I don't know if that's what's going to be in, in, the, uh, in the show or not but uh, so it's just like a lose-lose scenario, <laughs> all, all, all ways about it. Uh, nobody's getting getting this damn weapon, and so, yeah, in the games, when they do find it, all of a sudden they're introduced to this, like, zombie flood that eats your brains, uh, human and covenant alike. So, and actually, that, that's a little bit of story in Halo 2, that uh, half the game is played from Master Chief's point of view, and the other half of the game is played from the Arbiter, uh, a covenant elite. Right. And and so right. because they both now realize they have the they need to stop their own culture from getting a hold of this weapon because it will kill them all. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, which is so a he, yeah, nice twist. Might, uh, they might but, have a different way of approaching that. Like he might join forces forces with her or uh, or something. Right. That was quite the quite the caring touch she gave her there when they were both hallucinating themselves on the halo ring or whatever. Uh, like, oh, cute. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> but, but yeah, they are connected in some way, and the story, I'm liking it. Uh, you know, I, I'm not not liking the... Oh, I don't know how... It doesn't have to have action. There, there's a lot... There's so much in the story that can be told to 
Right. They're, they're, I think they're yeah. doing good about setting up the kind of the mystery of it all. And, and you know, we got a lot to learn, you know, with Halsey and the the Spartan recruitment program, the cloning, and all, all this is starting to fall in place, like you were saying. And now it's on to the bigger, bigger story. So, yeah, man, I'm digging it. It's fun. This is it's a lot of fun. I'm glad I'm not like stressed about it, trying to think. Well, you know, I'm glad I'm not in the frame of mind that it's like it's got to be something in my mind. If it's not that, therefore it's bad. Uh, I've done that with stuff in the past, but I don't know. Uh, Halos were fun games. I never really, in a, a cool uh, universe in which a cool story is set in, I, but I never really brought it into. You know, it's like part There's of my. There's a lot of yeah. similarities in the story with Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. I have to. I don't think I ever played through all three of those, but I played the first game through. Sto There's definitely some parallels with the story. Right. I, I never. I played some of the first game and never finished it so i don't really know well i appreciate you all coming by and watching this reaction uh hit that like button if you did uh subscribe if you're new around here uh, according to the statistics uh a lot of people uh most of the a vast majority of the views are for non-subscribers uh there's a lot of content like this uh still coming and on the channel so far so please subscribe billy and adrian and emily I see you all out there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not trying to pick on anybody. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but if you are interested in full length reactions to this and anything else we've done, you can check out the description uh, in the link below down uh, over on Patreon. So uh, I appreciate you all for coming by. Mike, thanks again, buddy. Uh, hopefully right. you'll join us for no next problem. week's too. Let's wrap, wrap this one up and see where it goes, I guess. I mean, it's a few more all episodes, right. but all right, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.